Well, hello there. I think it's safe enough to be out here without any critters running up my leg or anything, so... <laughs> so we're gonna try to get the moon and Jupiter tonight, I hope. Okay, we have a 70% lit moon up there, pretty high up in the southern sky, about 46 degrees above the horizon. Let me get it more in frame just a second here. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're zoomed in all the way. Oops, let me change our rate. Huh. Doesn't look like it's coming in too well, and it should. Hmm. I don't know what's up with that. It should be coming in pretty clear. Well, anyway. Looks like a mountain ridge there, doesn't it? Sorry, there's mosquitoes everywhere back here. Go up here to the section where I call the Giant's Boneyard. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, just reminds me of the Titans or something. It's funny, it zoomed in all the way. Just seems like I should be able to go in further. Anyway, let's go up around the moon, take a trip around, get over here to my Mesa and light beam area. And I don't think I said it yet, but we are on the Nikon P1000 camera and using the Skywatcher telescope mount to track the moon. And I'm still looking for Jupiter. I don't see it peeking up above the trees yet. It's already risen, but uh, it's stuck down below my view. Now I'm really surprised about the uh, quality of image I'm getting here. Does not look good. So, we'll just take a quick look here at the cool bottom. Those craters down here are just really incredible. enough for that. So we just get a full on look here until good old Jupiter decides to uh, grease our skies. They say it's supposed to be the closest approach to Earth for 2019 I do believe. It was either yesterday or today or something like that or tomorrow. Whatever. What the hell is a few million miles, huh? <laughs> All right, we're still waiting for the moon, not the moon, but Jupiter to rise or get above the trees there. And it's now 9.42 p.m. Up here in northeastern Ohio with the mosquitoes. And I don't see any glowing eyes staring at me. So I did change the recording from uh, filming on the camera to filming on the Ninja Flame. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have to just, I'm just gonna have to move us because I can see it from a different direction. So I'm gonna lose my uh, setup here, but that's all right. Where are you, bugger? See you, bye. Fucking hell. There we go. Now it's funny, by eye, and you have to realize I'm an old lady who has very poor vision, I can actually see the moons of Jupiter. I mean, this is crazy. 
Wow. That alignment did not go well. Anyway, so. Okay, so finally, there's the big guy. And I see four of the Julian moons. One's way up at the one o'clock position, two right close to Jupiter, and then one further down below, about the seven o'clock position. And we'll keep changing the shutter speed to get it in better, hopefully. And from what I can tell, I don't see the great red spot tonight. So maybe it's on the other side. And double check. Yes, we are at max zoom. And I'm going to try something. So I'll be right back. All right, I had to go and change the... Uh, ISO because I don't know it's just not coming in as good as I would like and we probably still have a good hour to go before Saturn ever rises so it doesn't look like I'll be able to get it tonight but it sure is good to finally get a planet <laughs> It's amazing how bright it is to the eye. I will try one more time to see if I can get it in any better. But I think that's going to be it. The bands are coming in pretty good though. Okay, and I just wanted to check to see if it would go back to the moon. But my tracking's off a bit, so I had to mess around. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. I think I finally got a decent image of the moon. Now those craters are coming out pretty good on here. So I don't know what was up before. But I, the uh, moon has a pretty decent rainbow ring around it. And it's right above that willow tree. Okay, I just wanted to check one more time. Okay, I just wanted to check Jupiter one more time to see if I can get it in any better since the moon did come out a touch better there a few minutes ago. So, so with Jupiter rising in the southeast and the moon in the south, we're all going to wave goodnight to y'all. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. And if I didn't say it earlier, today is uh, June 11th, 2019, up here in Northeastern Ohio. Good night, all. <laughs>